Okay, because my last video on the best places to buy a vacation rental in uh, North Georgia got about 8 million views. Wait, what? No, it didn't? It got, what, 8,000? No, it didn't get 8,000. Well, did it get 800? No? Well, then why? Well, that was embarrassing. Okay, well, let's just move on. We're going to go to part two of best places to buy a vacation rental in North Georgia. Last video, we talked about Blue Ridge, Dahlonega, and LJ. And today, we're going to give you three more places to buy a vacation rental or a vacation home in North Georgia. Hey everybody, my name is Tim Gibson and I am a realtor in North Georgia and my channel is all about North Georgia real estate. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Golly, I'm starting to sound like a YouTuber, holy cow. I like to tell my kids that I'm uh, YouTube famous. They love it. They love it when I say that. And uh, as always, if you are thinking about moving to North Georgia, please reach out. My contact info is right here on the screen. Uh, just to quickly recap, like I mentioned in the first video about buying a vacation home in North Georgia, North Georgia has so much to offer in terms of natural beauty. You've got lakes, you've got waterfalls, you've got hiking trails, you've got mountains, you've got beautiful views, everything that you would want for a quiet place in the mountains you can find in North Georgia. So let's quickly jump into the first location in this second video about buying a vacation home in North Georgia. Let's talk about Blairsville, Georgia. And uh, I was talking to Madison, who works at the front desk at our office before I shot this video. She's from Blairsville and she said, do not call it Blairsville. She said, call it Blairsville. So I'll be calling it Blairsville for the rest of the video. Thank you, Madison. All right, so where is Blairsville, Georgia? Blairsville is about uh, 30 minutes to the east of Blue Ridge. And a lot of you are familiar with Blue Ridge, Georgia. It's a very popular place. All right, so Blairsville, <laughs> again, is uh, it's right there tucked into the uh, North Georgia mountains. It's very close to the Chattahoochee National Forest. There's a lot going on there as far as natural beauty. And one of the main draws, I guess you would call it, for uh, Blairsville would be uh, Vogel State Park. Vogel State Park is a very popular place to visit. And if you were to have a vacation home or vacation rental right there near uh, Vogel State Park, it's an awesome place. It's uh, got a, I think it's like a 20 something acre lake that looks right at the mountains in North Georgia. You can do some kayaking and canoeing, fishing, of course. There's camping there, there's some cabins. There's also a waterfall close by that you can hike to, and there's also a, a hiking trail that goes around the lake. It's a very popular place to visit. We visited plenty of times and love going to Vogel State Park. So if you end up in Blairsville, then maybe Vogel State Park is a place you'd like to stop by. Also a very popular destination or a location or thing to do up in Blairsville, Georgia would be Lake Notley. Lake Notley is just over 4,000 acres. It's a massive lake up in the mountains. And I think it's got somewhere over 100 miles of shoreline, something like that. All the fun things that you like to do on the lake, you can do there. There's a lot of great fishing. There is, of course, water sports. We want to do skiing, boating, that type of stuff. And there's also a uh, reservoir hiking trail that's, I think, 2.5 miles long, something like that. So you want to get outside. You want to be close to the water. You want to be on the water. Lake Notley would be a great place for you. Also, if you like to see waterfalls, waterfalls are very popular in North Georgia and there are a lot of really beautiful waterfalls. Blairsville has a couple that I wanna mention. There's, there are more, but I wanted to just mention these two real quick. Hilton Creek Falls and DeSoto Falls. These are really great waterfalls to visit. They have trails that you can hike up to the waterfalls to kind of see the, all the natural beauty there. The river's kind of cascading down and they're kind of tucked away in the North Georgia mountains. It's a really great place to visit. A lot of great waterfalls close by, so definitely visit those two if you decide to make a trip up or if you decide to buy a vacation home in the area. Last but not least, I wanted to mention the Appalachian Trail. It passes very close to Blairsville, Georgia, so if you were to be somewhere in the area, you want to get on the Appalachian Trail for a really great day hike or even an overnight weekend hike, something like that. Very close by, so it's an awesome attraction and a great place to get out in nature and just uh, get away from it all. Okay, on to our next place to buy a vacation home in North Georgia. We are gonna talk about Big Canoe. I've talked about Big Canoe a lot in my other videos, but it's such a popular place to buy a vacation home that I think we would be remiss not to mention it. Okay, so Big Canoe is not really its own town. It's more like a massive neighborhood in the mountains. It's a gated community. 
and they have all kind of amenities. They've got a couple of lakes, they've got swimming pools, they've got uh, 27 holes of golf, tennis, all that stuff. But also it's situated inside something like an 8,000 acre community in the mountains that is just this massive expansive place to live. Yeah, Big Canoe is massive, like I mentioned. You've got houses that are sitting on top of mountains in Big Canoe that sometimes on a clear day you can see the skyline of Atlanta, which is wild. And then you've got houses that are on the lake, you've got houses that are kind of spread out, and it's a really, really cool place to uh, potentially own a vacation home. Big Canoe kind of operates like its own town, but also kind of not because it's this giant gated community like I mentioned. Also, uh, it has its own fire station, it's got its own post office, but then, you know, to go grocery shopping, you gotta go outside the gates and it's maybe a 10 minute drive down the road to the Foothills IGA. Close to Big Canoe, you have uh, Burt's Pumpkin Patch or Burt's Pumpkin Farm, which is this massive pumpkin farm. I think it's in Dawson County, close by. And during the fall, this place is wild. There's pumpkins everywhere, all different sizes and styles and all kinds of stuff. We visited a ton. A lot of people go uh, for you know photo shoots and things like that. Obviously, you go there to buy some pumpkins for Halloween or for your you know, pumpkin pies and things like that. Really cool place to visit. Also, I want to mention Amicalola Falls. Amicalola Falls is very close to Big Canoe, and it's the tallest waterfall the east side of the Mississippi. This thing is unbelievable. It is a great place to go, and it's just a crazy sight to see when you see it in person. Definitely the most popular waterfall in uh, North Georgia, but it's also a state park, so there's lots of other things to do there besides just see the waterfall. Along with all of the beautiful views and the great houses in Big Canoe and the natural beauty and all that stuff, I think golfing is a very popular thing for people to do, especially those that are buying a vacation home up in Big Canoe. If you're a golfer and you are thinking about Big Canoe as a potential spot for a vacation home, then check out my other video right here that I did on golfing in Big Canoe. I'm not gonna to dive too much into it because I want to cover some other things, but definitely check that out. All right, water activities are another very popular thing to do in Big Canoe. You've got a couple different lakes there. You've got a marina for boating. You've got an entire beach club with a lake that's got a beach there. You can do canoeing, kayaking, paddle boards, paddle boats. Lots of fun stuff to do there, so check that out. There's also a pool right there at the beach club at Big Canoe. If you like to get out in nature, obviously Big Canoe would be a great place for you, and they have centered the entire community around the natural beauty. There are something like 20 or more miles of nature trails in the community, so if you wanna get out, you wanna get in nature, I think it would be a great spot for you. All right, last on our list would be Hiawassee, and that might not be as popular of a place if you're searching and you're in a different state and you're searching for a place to buy a vacation home. Hiawassee may not pop up at the top of the list, but I think it would be a great choice. Hiawassee is in Towns County, which is almost in North Carolina at the very, very northeastern part of North Georgia. It's a beautiful place. The views are amazing. And one of the most popular things to do if you were to have a place in Hiawassee would be to visit Brasstown Ball, which is the highest peak in all of Georgia. Now, Brasstown Bald, like I mentioned, is the tallest peak in Georgia, somewhere around 4,800 feet, maybe just under that. And I know that all you people out west are going to say that's not a mountain, that's a hill. But to us, especially me, I grew up in Florida, Brasstown Bald is huge, okay? So just lay off me. Just kidding. But seriously. What's cool about Brasstown Bald is there is like a visitor center up at the top, and you can drive up to the top. If you don't want to hike it, you can hike it too if you'd like. But at the uh, observation deck or whatever you call it up there, you can, on a clear day, you can see something like three or four states. You can see obviously Georgia, you can see North Carolina, I think you can see South Carolina and maybe even Tennessee. It's really awesome. So if you are close by and you're just visiting or you're thinking about buying a place up in Hiawassee, check out Brasstown Bald and see how many states you can see. Running theme here, we're gonna talk about a lake. There's a lake in uh, Hiawassee in Towns County, it's called Lake Chatoug, and it's something like 7,000 acres. It stretches up into North Carolina, and it's a beautiful place, obviously, to do some boating, to do some fishing, things that you like to do out on the water, and you just want to get away to the mountains and you want just a beautiful mountain lake, then Lake Chatoug is a very, very popular option for you. And again, we're gonna mention some common themes. Uh, we're gonna talk about a uh, popular waterfall area in uh, Hiawassee, High Shoals Falls. There's something like five waterfalls in a row in High Shoals Falls. It's like a 170 acre uh, scenic area. And I think the, the falls drop something like 300 feet. So it's a really cool place to visit 
especially if you want to get away, you're coming from a different state and waterfalls are not very common, you know, and you end up in Hiawassee, great place to kind of stop by and just get away from it all. And lastly, in Hiawassee, there's the Georgia Mountain Fairgrounds. And one event, obviously they're gonna have a lot of events there throughout the year, but the main event that I wanted to talk to you about was the Georgia Mountain Fair. So the Georgia Mountain Fair happens in the summertime, I believe this year it's in August. If you wanna experience North Georgia and everything it has to offer, I think this would be a really cool uh, event to visit, the Georgia Mountain Fair. You've of course got some live music that's gonna happen. You got arts and crafts vendors and stuff like that. You've got uh, a lot of other stuff to do, including Hey, you got carnival rides. Who doesn't love a good carnival ride? I'm sure there's probably some really good fried food there too. Maybe some fried Snickers, some funnel cakes, fried Twinkies. I don't know, just check it out. Yeah, go check out the Georgia Mountain Fair this year. I think it's in August, like I mentioned, and maybe I'll see you there. All right, that's it for this video. Let me know what you thought about these three places to potentially purchase a vacation home or a vacation rental. Which one was your favorite? And also, how close do you think we're gonna get to 8 million views on this? As always, my contact info is on the screen. If you're thinking about moving to North Georgia, if you're just curious about the area, please reach out, I'd be happy to help. And that's it for this video. Hey, maybe I'll see you at the uh, Georgia Mountain Fair, who knows? I'll definitely see you on the next video. We'll talk soon.